Hi everybody, welcome to Quarantine Parenting. Thanks for being with me tonight. So, if you're joining me for the first time, my name is Dr. Courtney Pegram and this is my channel. Yeah. I've made these scrappy videos so that I could best serve my clients, educators, and parents. I'm an education consultant that works in corporate and then also in schools for the last 15 years. When it comes to emotions, social skills, and any soft skills, that's my jam. I love doing it and um, I've been doing it for a very long time, so I have a pool of resources. So I figured since I'm not being able to deliver the content face to face in my schools and my corporations, I could create these videos. So I don't follow everything that I train or teach on, so there's no room for judgment. I just want to plant a seed, give you an idea and see if that's helpful. If it is, it's a win. If it doesn't, then don't worry about it. So for the past few weeks, we've been doing weekly topics and this week we're focused on boredom. So a lot of uh, in my meetings, my coaching sessions, and then uh, sometimes my check-ins, I hear that a lot. A lot of kids, teens, and even parents are bored. Things are mundane. I'm stuck in the house. I have nothing to do. So I wanted to really expand on what you can do with that situation and give you some tips or ideas or reinforce what you're currently doing to know that, yay, you got this. So when it comes to boredom, it's really important to define when you are feeling bored or when your child is feeling bored and the why. So I'll give you an example and walk you through my process and then you can use that to kind of help entice your kids. So let's do our children first and we'll go back to us as far as boredom. So for children, if they're like, oh, I'm so bored, this is so boring, Ugh, boring, 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 oh, I'm so bored. Sorry, sometimes I like to imitate my students. <laughs> um, so here's what you can do. First of all, so you ask them, what are you currently doing? Like, so what are, what are you doing that's so boring? Uh, what are some things that you would like to do? Obviously, you're going to say, well, I want to play with my friends. I want to see my friends. I want to go to the park. I want to go play soccer. I want to be in basketball again. Like, right. So we know where they're going. But the, the reason you're doing that approach is you want to get it all out there. Then you can say, okay, so what is something you haven't done yet that you might want to try? Or what is something that you could do that could change you from being bored? So what we want to avoid saying, which is, I'm not saying that I've not said that before, but we want to avoid saying like, well, I'm, if, if you're bored, I'll give you something to do. It's not an effective statement. Uh, I know it because I've used it. And also my parents have used it on me. So the idea is let's expand their ideas, their thoughts around what they can possibly do giving them suggestions, creating a list with them, having them create a list, are ideas to generate a new flow of thought. So that instead of being bored, I can try a new skill, learn something, talk to a new person, right? come up with a challenge that I can do with my friends that's safe, obviously safe. And then um, also maybe try something different. So let's explore that. So maybe trying a new skill. So it could be like, you know, sewing, cooking, dancing, singing, a new instrument, drawing, writing, you know, um, any arts or craft, vision board, you name it. So maybe learning a language, challenges, challenges. TikTok has tons of them. I watch what your kids are watching on TikTok, but there's like dance challenges, there's, you know, things you can do with your animals that are safe, but like things you can do with your animals to see um, if they respond that way. There's also like ex science experiments. Send them onto Pinterest. There's a ton of stuff you can do for a home. Um, re reorganizing for teenagers, go and, go and re re reorganize or redesign your room. By just changing the furniture around, giving it maybe an, a little newness, Things are in a different place. It feels different. You can re-energize them. Having them maybe declutter their closet or organize certain things, not only does it help them 
when they're organizing because they'll feel like accomplished and productive. It also reinforces their organizational skills and can be really helpful. I know there's a dog barking. I just, there's no way. So, hopefully he's done. Okay, so with the organizational skills pattern, it's finding things that they like to reorganize and then have them develop habits of like, how are you organizing that? Like, what were you thinking? Oh, that's great, reinforcing that. Because when it comes to chores, it's pushing our kids to do them. But when it comes to organization, if you praise them and teach them how to organize, they probably would get into it and like it. Everyone loves when they have a clean desk, a clean room, everything has its place. It creates certainty when things are uncertain. It creates structure during chaos. It's really helpful. And it's a thing to get over being bored. What they can do is they can do their schooling, their reading in a different place in the house. Change your environment. Go into a different room. They can plan. You can do this as a family. Do a whole um, contest on next place we will vacation as a family. Have them look up places, do their research, present it. Present it in a fun way to your family. It could be in a song format, a dance, a commercial, and then you vote. Who, who, wh where are we going next? Who won? So that could be another challenge you do. Um, so think about this. Like I'm just throwing ideas and hopefully some of them stick on the wall for you and this works. Do the same with your children. Ask them, what is something that you never had the chance to do? And you always said, I'll do that someday. Well now, today is someday. So have them create that list and help them get from not only the list to actually the implementation. Okay, so you want to learn a new language. Well, what do you need to do for that? What apps are out there? How are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? And then why? What is driving you? Well, because I want to travel to this country. Well, good point. There's more motivation. So exploring what we can do in the confine of our own home can be really helpful. It also motivates you because you get excited versus bored. So I'm gonna leave you with those ideas for the children. I'm gonna quickly transition to parents and then explain what we can do so we're not bored. I think that it's really important that if you're finding yourself been watching TV and your days are mundane and you're just bored and you're losing your mind, to find a way to escape. So follow me on this one. Reading a really good book, meditating, taking an online class. Um, I'm doing a, this online meditation class. I love it. It's like my escape. And every day I get to like re, re energize myself. So finding a class that you want to do, maybe joining a group, a new group. So there is online unlimited yoga. You have online fitness classes, dance classes. You know, I am a horrible dancer. So I have on my list of things I'd like to do is learn how to dance. Well, there's tons of videos and I won't have to embarrass myself because I won't be in front of anyone else. Um, make a list of things that you've always wanted to do around the house and never had a chance and then start checking them out. Another idea is going around in each room and finding how you can make that room one more efficient, two more organized or three, just a little change that would create a newness to it. Make that list so then you can either order the stuff, change the stuff around into a different room, or just start thinking differently about each space in your house. So finally, I would say for us, it's really time that we make that vision board. Because I tell you, at the end of 2019, I love to sit down, plan my next year, build my vision board, and I guarantee you, my vision board in 2020, this was not on it. Being quarantined was not on my vision board. So I need to go back to the drawing board and reinvent. What do I want to do this year? What do I want to come out of this like? Who am I as a person? What are my dreams, aspirations, and goals? I mean, it was kind of like just threw all this in the air in 2020. And now I want to see where I'm going to fall. So that gets me excited and energized. So if you're into vision boards, I would really recommend you redo one and you make it like your biggest dreams, accomplishments, what's coming for you, who do you want to meet, right? So think about that. 
those are some ideas for you. I hope this is helpful. And then for your kids. Take them, use them. Hopefully as I'm talking, more ideas came to you. And that's the power of these videos. It's not that I'm teaching you something new. It's that I'm planting a seed so that you can take it and you can grow it in whatever direction you want. So it's together how we can collaborate so that we can make this safe, safe emotionally safe for us to survive quarantine, that we can find some peace in what we do, some satisfaction, and we stop with these shoulds, the could of, the would ofs, and we just make every day the best day that we can possibly do. And even if it's not the best day, we know at least we tried the best we could, or we just survived. So those are the ideas for boredom. Uh, if you like my video, boom, hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting this totally down right now. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Bye.